What is going on Call of Duty fans? Maverick here and as you can tell by the title today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons, the good and the bad of the Modern Warfare 2 beta. Now I don't want this video to be one of those videos where we really just sit here and you know talk about a little good and talk about a ton of bad. I feel like that's kind of what you see when it comes to people just talking about the beta and you know Call of Duty in general. A lot of it is negative so the way I broke this down is I have four good things and four bad things I want to talk about. A lot of these are things you probably will agree with considering this is what I've seen in so many videos and on Twitter throughout the beta and you know after the beta now for the last few days and a lot of these are things that I saw obviously in game and the hence why they're on my list so let's start off with the bad because I have a feeling this is the thing that most of us are going to agree with and most of us know what's coming the number one obviously classic minimap isn't in the game this new minimap system that they had in MW 2019 and now have an MW 2 just doesn't really work it really you know kind of promotes people to be able to camp and just fire their weapon without consequence which is obviously what they're going for they want people to not show up on the minimap Map so people don't chase red dots personally i think this is pretty stupid i think the classic minimap there's a reason it was around for you know 10 12 years in call of duty multiplayer and for them to just kind of take it out in these recent modern warfare games seems kind of stupid in my opinion um i personally would rather have a classic minimap and i think this this really hinders the you know the flow of the game and really promotes people to play super slow or to play campy which obviously is something none of us really want the second thing on my bad list is skill-based matchmaking you know slash disbanding lobbies they actually Actually did say they're looking into ways to make lobbies not disband all the time so there's a possibility that you will actually be able to stay in the lobby in the, in the actual full game of modern warfare 2 i guess we'll wait on updates from infinity word about that but that was one thing they actually tweeted about but of course skill-based matchmaking is, is probably the number one thing that makes you know recent call of duty is not fun to play um obviously it's it's fun to play sometimes when you come up against good competition and it's a good game it's a close game and everyone's fighting to win but when you have to sweat every single game every single lobby in order to put up you know 1.1 or 1.2 kd something like that it's just not fun and it makes the overall experience super tiring so instead of me playing for let's say five hours maybe i play for five games because i'm just so tired of having to sweat in order to have somewhat of a fun or a good experience in game. Obviously, skill-based matchmaking is something that's been around for a while and will likely not be going anywhere, but it would be nice if they could tune it down. Obviously, in an ideal world, they would take skill-based matchmaking out of regular public matches and would only have it in the ranked playlist. Maybe have skill-based matchmaking for those players that are in the lower tier or the beginner bracket, of course, to protect them from the hardcore, more, uh, you know, players that play all the time, because if I was new to the game, I would not want to be getting destroyed, obviously, by, by top players. So give them some SBMM protection, but I think overall it would make the most sense for them to just add a ranked mode. That's where the SBMM comes in. That's where you have a rank where you play people that are a similar rank to you. And then in public match lobbies, you're not coming up against these sweats in every single game. The third thing on my quote unquote bad list is the overall UI UX design in the game. There was just many things in the game, in the menus, and you know the, the weapon trees, all that stuff that just didn't seem to flow very well and designed very well when it came to you know the user interface and actually scrolling through things and selecting things like in your creative class it just felt very clunky it felt very um like there was just too much going on it didn't need to be as bad as it was i saw something on twitter about how there's actually a lot of uh, ui ux designers that previously worked on hulu the tv streaming platform that now work at infinity ward and this is probably why it sort of feels that way i saw a lot of people talking about that on twitter so that could make some sense but overall i think just the user interface just had too much going on i think if they could simplify that make it a little easier to click through things, you know, make it so it's easier to scroll through like the weapon trees and actually look at your attachments, look at what you need to unlock. I think that would overall make the experience, you know, outside the game in the menus a little better. And the last thing on the bad list, another thing I'm sure we all want to talk about is the overall footstep sounds and, you know, the missing dead silence perk or ninja perk. Um, obviously, we have the dead silence field upgrade, and this is something they're probably going to continue to double down on just like they did in Modern Warfare 2019. The footsteps themselves are just way too loud. Uh, obviously, you know, there's so many problems with that. The amount of times that I got pre-fired or pre-aimed around corners because people could hear me was just beyond frustrating and literally made me rage quit multiple times during the uh, during the beta because it's just so frustrating when like for me personally as someone who likes to play fast and likes to play aggressive and try to you know really get as many kills as I can because that's what I find fun when I'm being heard by the entire enemy team no matter where I am on the map it's just super frustrating because 
even, I mean, there's times where you can jump around a corner and you can outgun someone just because maybe they missed some shots. But most of the time they're pre-aiming you or they're literally pre-firing you because they can tell exactly where you're coming from and you just have no chance in that sort of instance. I think that sort of ties in with the time to kill and how the time to kill can be fast. So you really can't fight back if someone pre-aims or pre-fires you. I think overall the time to kill isn't that much faster than any game we've seen recently. And, you know, they could up the, the, the base health a little bit, but I personally didn't have too much of a problem with it. Obviously the Dead Silence field upgrade doesn't even work the way it should. It makes this loud beep robotic noise when you use it and then you're still not fully even silent when you use the dead silence field upgrade so it's definitely tough to sort of play an aggressive style play a flanker type style where you're trying to get in behind the enemies um, because they can just hear you coming no matter what so obviously it would be nice if they added some sort of dead silence or ninja perk that suppressed footsteps or even made them totally quiet if they don't want to make them totally quiet at least make them like 80 percent quieter if you have this perk on so people can only hear you if you get really close or if you're right on let's say the wall next to them but that's enough talk about the bad the quote-unquote bad and the cons of this beta let's actually talk about the good thing and i feel like there were some really good things that came out of this beta that i experienced number one and it's kind of a it's kind of a hard one to describe overall i thought the game felt really good when i first loaded up into my game after i got my graphics settings set up in a way that i thought the game looked good which i will get into in a second and also felt good in that not only frames wise but just kind of the way the movement felt as well i thought as a whole the best way to describe this was i thought the game felt really Really good. I thought it ran better on my PC than Modern Warfare 2019 did, um, which was awesome for me personally. I mean, hovering around that 100 FPS mark for myself with good, uh, you know, good quality graphics or something that I wanted to get, which is what I was getting during the beta. I thought from just like the way the character felt to the way the guns felt to just the way everything kind of felt, the way it literally ran on my PC, I thought felt really good and was definitely a big positive. Like I just mentioned, I thought the game also looked really good. It was nice to see them add a little bit more color. I still think they could even add more colors into a map like let's say Farm 18, which was kind of more on that grayscale dull side, which I guess that's what they were going for, obviously. But I think they could add a little more color. But overall, I thought the map or the maps, not, obviously the maps, but just the game itself looked really good. I thought the guns looked really good. I thought the character models looked really good and I, I think you know obviously the visuals of a game are super important these days and especially with our ever and ever you know never ending upgrades in technology with consoles and pcs i think graphics are going to continue to get better and i did really like the way this, this game looked third and probably the most important one the maps i mean the maps were were so much better than modern warfare 2019 i'm sure we all can agree on that of the four maps that we got to play i'm talking 6v6 maps i thought the ground war slash invasion maps are actually pretty solid too i thought they felt pretty good they they definitely were fun i don't play a ton of ground war personally i did play some ground war invasion during this beta just to get a feel for it and i did think that was fun uh, but in terms of the 66 maps out of the four we played and i will be making a separate video on this you know i thought farm 18 i thought the uh los almas map was really good museum personally was my least favorite and then i thought the hotel map was actually pretty solid as well so I thought three of the four maps were actually really good. Um, none of them, except for the museum map, I think were too big. Museum was definitely a little bit too big in my opinion. I feel like it would flow better with like an 8v8 type play style, but obviously in 6v6, that's not what we got. But overall, I thought the maps flowed really well i thought the spawn system was decent in domination it was a little weird sometimes you spawned like on the opposite team's flag a lot of times over and over but overall i thought the map played really well and i thought they looked good and i'm just happy to see some smaller maps in the game and last for the good i honestly personally really like the movement i was not a fan of slide canceling in Modern Warfare 2019 or in any of the recent years um i just don't think it's as uh it's just it kind of feel like it kind of ruins the game for me when you're coming against these people that are just like sliding around corners breaking your camera and you you really just don't have a, a chance to shoot back at them because of the way the movement is um i think the possibility to still use sliding and dolphin diving in certain scenarios is kind of what they were built to be in the game originally is sort of to be an escape mechanic or to get around corners or dive through windows i think makes a ton of sense um it, you know slide canceling isn't a terrible terrible thing but for me personally i like i like it better without slide canceling if i'm being totally honest um i would rather have you know bunny hopping jumping around corners uh you know that sort of thing than the slide canceling because i feel like slide canceling demons are just they're just on a new level Level. and i personally don't have the mentality or the desire to try to keep up with someone who's constantly slide canceling around the map like they're on the finals of, of the cod champs so i would just rather 
uh, you know, have this kind of sort of bunny hopping, maybe a little bit of drop shotting meta that we sort of saw in past Call of Duties back in the day. I think it's something that everyone can do. Slide canceling, especially on keyboard and mouse, is a little bit harder than it is on controller, which is what I'm on keyboard and mouse. So overall, I would just rather have the movement the way it is. And I thought it felt pretty good. You felt a little bit slow. I think they could increase maybe like your sprint to fire speeds or just your sprint out times in general. But overall, I actually personally enjoyed the movement. That's going to wrap up this video, probably a little longer than I expected it to be. So if you're still around, thank you a ton for watching through this whole video. I appreciate you all listening to my opinions and let me know down below in the comment comments what you think about this game. What did you think was good? What did you think was bad? Number one thing that really sticks in your mind when you think about the MW2 beta, drop it down below in the comments. With that being said, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more Call of Duty content, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.